HDL. HDL is often called the good cholesterol and for good reason. If LDL is the delivery truck, HDL is the cleanup crew. Its job is to collect extra cholesterol from the tissue and artery walls and bring it back to the liver for recycling or disposal. The higher your HDL, the more efficient this cleanup process is. For men, most labs consider above 40 good and for women above 50. But if you ask me, the optimal range is higher. 55 to 65 for men and 65 to 75 for women. APOA1. Think of APOA1 as the team leader inside the HDL particle. The one directing the cleanup crew. So higher APOA1 levels generally mean better protection against plague buildup. Lab references for men is 110 to 180 and for women is 120 to 200. And on the flip side, there is APOB. So if A1 is the leader of the cleanup crew, APOB is the marker for the number of delivery trucks on the road. So every APOB particle represents one cholesterol carrying vehicle. And the more vehicles you have, the higher your risk. That's why APOB is considered one of the most accurate predictors of cardiovascular risk today. Ideally, you want it below 100, but functionally below 80 is even better. Triglycerides. They are simply fat molecules your body uses for energy. High triglycerides often point to issues like insulin resistance, too much sugar intake or metabolic stress. They also tend to push LDL particles into the smaller dense forms that are more strongly linked with heart disease. Ideally, you want your triglyceride under 150 and better yet below 100. VLDL cholesterol, which is basically the carrier that moves triglycerides from your liver to the tissues. Too much VLDL usually means the liver is producing excess fat, often due to poor diet or alcohol or insulin resistance. Non-HDL cholesterol, total cholesterol minus HDL. That means it captures all the potentially harmful particles, including LDL and VLDL. Ideally, it should be less than 130. Ratios give us some of the clearest insights. And the first one is the HDL to total cholesterol ratio. When the ratio is above 24%, your risk drops significantly. Triglyceride to HDL ratio. Now this ratio is strongly linked to metabolic health. You want it as close to one as possible and definitely, definitely below two. A ratio above two often points to insulin resistance and a higher risk for heart disease. 